Two days ago, it was the International Day for Disability and Handicap, and uh, we are focusing on this specifically uh, today to show that we, uh, as French, believe that Tanzania is making the right choice by putting inclusion, uh, human rights, and uh, women's rights at the heart of its choice of development. We heard it many times uh, in the, the President Samia Sulu Hassan's speech, and also we hear it all the time from the government representatives, and we just want to share this with you and to support this and to commend this and to try to build up on it uh, small projects that can also grow and also value what some NGOs present here today are doing, are implementing with their Tanzanian uh, counterparts. Last thing I wanted to mention is that we do this in Tanzania also because not only the belief that uh, you're right uh, in choosing this path, but also because we are neighbors and Mayotte Island and uh, La Réunion are really very, very next doors and uh, we m now more and more bringing uh, counterparts from the islands working here, not only from Paris, but also from La Réunion and Mayotte, and they are uh, building projects together with their Tanzanian counterparts, and some Tanzanians are also uh, traveling and crossing uh, to, to these islands and to uh, share the way they, they include uh, youth, the way they include the disabled, the vulnerable, uh, in general, and also your experience, which is now amazing in uh, fighting gender-based violence and also by targeting the achievement of the real equality between women and men. Thank you for being here, dear Minister. Thank you to all the guests for joining us here today. And uh, please enjoy the whole event that w should be followed later outside in the garden by music cancer. Uh, and uh, also we will attend uh, later the signature, the signing of an MOU between French and Tanzanians. Kwa kutambua muhimu wa kuwajumuisha watu wenye ulemavu katika shughuli zote kuhakikisha kwamba vikwazo ambavyo vinaweza vikasababisha mtu mwenye ulemavu kutoweza kufanya shughuli kwa kiwango cha uwezo wake vinaondolewa. Kwa hiyo kwanza sisi kama Tanzania tunajivunia kwamba nchi yetu imekuwa katika mstari wa mbele kuhakikisha kwamba haki na ustawi wa watu wenye ulemavu unaendelezwa. Na ukiangalia mheshimiwa rais wetu Dr. Samia Suwasani amekuwa ni kinara na kiongozi mahiri katika kuhakikisha kwamba analinda haki za watu wenye ulemavu. Miradi mingi ambayo imekuwa ikitekelezwa katika nchi yetu, miradi ya afya, miradi ya elimu inaweka umuhimu wa kuangalia watu wenye ulemavu. Na sasa hivi nchi yetu imeweka mwongozo wa kuhakikisha kwamba majengo yote ambayo yanajengwa, majengo ya umma na majengo yanayotoa huduma wanazingatia ufikivu kwa ajili ya watu wenye ulemavu kwa yule vikwazo vilivyokuepo unaweza kukuta mtu mwenye ulemavu hawezi kufika sehemu katika jengo la umma hiyo kwa kweli tunaendelea kuiondoa lakini mheshimiwa rais dr Samia Suluhassani mnamo tarehe 16 uh, machi 2022 alikutana na watu wenye ulemavu katika ikulu ya Chamwino na katika kikao chake mheshimiwa dr Samia Suluhassani alitupa maelekezo kwamba angependa kuona utambuzi wa mapema kwa watu wenye ulemavu na akaelekeza tushirikiane na Wizara ya Afya ili mtu akitambuliwa mapema ana ulemavu apewe afua stahiki kwa ajili ya kupunguza makali ya ulemavu na ikiwezekana hata kuyaondoa na tulitengeneza mwongozo huo ambao tuliuzindua wakati ya siku ya ulemavu duniani Disemba 3 2022 katika mkoa wa Arusha na sasa hivi hospitali zetu za vifaa zinatoa huduma kwa ajili ya kuweka utengamao ndio lugha ambayo inatumika kwa maana ya kwamba kumrudisha mtu na kumpunguzia makali ya ulemavu 
Na bahati nzuri leo katika hii siku ya kujumuisha hapa katika balozi wa Faransa tumepata shuhuda ambaye ameelezea kwamba katika utambuzi ambao wao walifanya katika mkoa wa Ilinga waliweza kumtambua mtu mwenye matatizo ya macho lakini baada ya kufanyiwa upasuaji wameweza kumtoa anaona vizuri. Kwa hiyo ina maana wasige fanya utambuzi wa mapema angekuwa ni mtu asiyeona. Kwa hiyo kwa ujumla aa, sisi kama nchi tuna miongozo, tuna sera ambazo zinahakikisha kwamba watu wote wanajumuishwa na tutambue kwamba ulemavu sio kukosa uwezo. Kwa hiyo tunatakiwa sisi kama nchi tunatakiwa sisi pia kama wa Tanzania kuwaunga mkono watu wenye ulemavu na kuhakikisha tunaondolea vikwazo vyote. Vikwazo vya kimazingira, vikwazo vya kiteknolojia sasa hivi kumekuwa na teknolojia kwa ajili ya watu wenye ulemavu. Na katika mwaka wa fedha 2022-2023 Mheshimiwa Dr. Samia Suluh Hassan ametoa bilioni 4.5 kwa ajili ya kununua vifaa vya kwenda kuwasaidia watu wenye ulemavu shuleni. We are working with more than 1000 children in Southern Highland of Tanzania. We are now in four regions in Tanzania and uh, we are working with 68 schools, primary schools. We had 51 and this year we have had more schools. We, uh, in our project, we managed to ensure many children they are going to school, but also transition from one class to another. It has been smooth through our approach of child to child approach. But also, as Child Support Tanzania, we started Mobile East Lack to ensure we assess all children to identify their needs before they enter into school, but also for those ones who are in school, because we believe some children can be prevented to get disability because uh, they might be ill maybe with their eyes or ears, which can cause disability later. And with this, we have one success story where one of our children will manage to do operation. This child was going to have a vision impairment, but through assessment, we managed to help this child not to have disability. Uh, as Child Support Tanzania, also we are looking forward to ensure our children with disabilities, they get access to libraries. So we have started three inclusive libraries in Southern Highland of Tanzania. Actually, they are the first libraries in Bea, and uh, they are inclusive. We have libraries, but we don't have inclusive libraries. With these libraries, all the children can enter and they can start, they can read books, they can enjoy like any other child. We managed to train teachers, more than 300 teachers, who are now able to uh, teach inclusive classrooms in their schools. But also they are acting as master trainers to teach other children. The theme of Disability Day this year, it says, uh, in action to rescue and achieve the sustainable development goals with, for, for, with and by persons with disabilities. The theme is directing us to include people with disabilities in every area, every stage. Even children, they, they have right to be included in conversation, in making decisions which they, they are uh, supposed to be for them. They have to be included. So you are uh, Honorable Dr. Darichako, As Child Support Tanzania, our children, they are our heart. I would like to ask you, please let us include children in every stage of decisions, where decisions are going to be made for them, because they are the ones who are going to enjoy it or to suffer from it. TLB basically is a national CSO operating in Tanzania mainland in all 26 regions. Uh, we, are, we have branches, district branches, Uh, more than 100, uh, 104 branches in Tanzania. So uh, structure-wise, it's an organization which is uh, managed, run, and owned by people with vision impairment. So um, like myself and my colleagues, we are just supporting the organization uh, in terms of programming, yeah, and such kind of things. So TLB essentially um, evolved from the student movement in Tabora, uh, 1964, before it became a national body for people with vision impairment. So since then, the major, major activity of business has been advocates 
advocacy, advocating for people with the vision impairment. All people uh, from, the, from children accessing education, healthcare, others accessing economic rights, all groups. Uh, now I would like to talk about how are we involved in terms of inclusive education. This has been a, like a traditional program. We've been uh, working together. Uh, even right now, we are also collaborating with the, our colleagues, TAS. I can see TAS representative is here, Tanzanian Albinism Society. And uh, in Zanzibar, we are not mandated to operate in Zanzibar, but we have our, we have our free, uh, sister organization in Zanzibar, it's called Zanab. So we work together as three organizations under this, and uh, the support of My Right Sweden, or SRF Sweden. Uh, last year, we were honored to be invited by Ezekiel's ambassador to visit the French embassy. So we had a nice moment to exchange experience around vision impairment and how do we deal with it. Also learn from the French experience. Uh, from there, then uh, uh, we got a Bujuri committee from the French embassy as well, which visited their office there. Uh, we had a nice discussion as well. From there, we were able to develop a concept note, and uh, I would like to say that we thank you so much because the concept note was funded, and out of that assistance, we were able to train uh, 10 teachers with vision impairment and specialist teachers as TOT, trainer of trainees, so that they can uh, train the new uh, braid course uh, across the country because our target is to reach out uh, 108 teachers in 54 schools, so also in all 26 regions. So they gave us like a seed money to make sure that we build the capacity of trainers before we dispatch them to, uh, to the regions. Uh, uh, with that assistance as well, we were able to procure ICT materials so that uh, we can demonstrate how to start an ICT corner within the resource uh, centers. So uh, we started with the two schools. One is Tuangoma, which is in Temeke uh, municipality, and another one is Rugoba Secondary School. Yeah. Apart from that, uh, we also build the capacity of TLD leaders, uh, the board and the staff at the headquarters so that they can uh, uh, improve the quality of advocacy because our aim to have uh, evidence-based kind of advocacy and also improve the quality of write-ups that we are preparing for fundraising.